Island are federally protected. But it took us years to find this place. That is Monkey Island. Finding an island that few people even believe exists is near impossible. Like I say, a lot of people don't believe it. You know? Vince Loper thought it was an urban legend. And his family has owned a home directly across from Monkey Island for decades. Yeah, and he told me, you know, it was monkeys over there, which I didn't believe him, you know what I mean? Today, Vince and his son, Devin, are helping us find what so many say is a myth. The funny thing is, is you can look and look and look until you see one, you don't see any. And then you see one and they're everywhere. After several hours snaking through South Carolina estuaries, our years-long search pays off. Slowly, one at a time, they come towards our boat. They're called rhesus monkeys, and they're native to India. But 3,500 of them now live in the wild here in South Carolina. The monkeys were first brought here in 1979, and they were left on this island, free-ranging to live and breed, almost 750 newborns a year. Every monkey is tagged or tattooed, and each year, 500 monkeys are taken to labs. Over the decades, they've been used to test vaccines for everything from AIDS to bioterrorism agents. Few people, even those who live here, have ever seen them. Just an uh, amazement, you know. There's monkeys running around on that island right there. <laughs> and seeing them firsthand in the Carolinas is a bit mind-boggling. You know, in the wild, just right there in the river on the island, it's neat. But once you have, well, you're part of the myth too now, hoping your friends will believe your stories about what you saw on monkey island i told them there was like a bunch of monkeys on the island and they didn't believe me and they were like there's no monkeys on the island 